hello friends today we will derive the expression for frequency of oscillation of compound pendulum now here let us define the compound pendulum a rigid body suspended vertically so as to oscillate with small amplitude under the action of gravity is termed as compound pendulum so when we suspend any rigid body vertically and allow it to oscillate with small amplitude under the action of gravity we will term the system as the system of compound pendulum here in figure 1 I have shown connecting rod suspended vertically at the pivot point O in the vertical plane now the connecting rod is shown in its mean position when no forces are acting on the connecting rod it will be in equilibrium position at rest in the vertical plane as shown in figure 1 now let us displace the connecting rod by a small angular displacement theta in counterclockwise sense now we have displaced the connecting rod hence we have changed its velocity from 0 to some value next According to the Newton's second law of motion, there is change in angular momentum of the connecting rod, so it will induce the torque as a result of angular acceleration alpha in the direction of angular displacement. And the value of that torque T is equals to I into alpha. So we will call this torque as accelerating torque because it accelerates or it allows the connecting rod to be in oscillations in the absence of the disturbing force. So accelerating torque according to Newton's second law is equals to moment of inertia about the axis of rotation. Our body is rotating about power point O. So moment of inertia about point O that is I O into its angular acceleration alpha which acts in the direction of angular displacement theta. So since this torque is accelerating the connecting rod so that it remains in oscillations we will call this as accelerating torque. So we will name this as accelerating torque equation number 1. So let us simplify this equation further. IO is the moment of inertia about the point of suspension O or center of rotation O. Now let us suppose that mass center of connecting rod is located at point G which is at a distance of L from the point of suspension okay so IO becomes IO is equals to moment of inertia of the connecting rod about X is passing through its CG that is MK square plus ML square parallel axis theorem into angular acceleration alpha is the torque so accelerating torque ta is equals to m into alpha k square plus l square so we will call this equation as equation a which represents accelerating torque for the displaced connecting rod which is oscillating with small amplitude theta under the action of gravity that is in the absence of the force which we have used to displace the connecting rod from its initial position. Now we will find that when we remove the external disturbing force after some time the connecting rod, uh, connecting rod will reach its equilibrium position that will that is it will come to rest in its vertical position which was its position before the displacement this happens because there must be some torque acting opposite to the accelerating torque which is trying to restore the body at its equilibrium position and that torque must be produced by 
the weight of the connecting rod because the body is under the action of its self weight only because we have removed the external force which we have used to displace the connecting rod so this is the weight acting through cg in vertical downward direction at an angle theta with the axis of connecting rod so component of this force along the axis of connecting rod is mg cos of theta and the component of this weight perpendicular to the axis of connecting rod is mg sin of theta because this is perpendicular to this this component mg sin of theta into this distance l will produce the torque in opposite direction of accelerating torque that torque is known as restoring torque so restoring torque is equals to mg sin of theta force into perpendicular distance l about the center of rotation o okay. now going by the definition of compound pendulum we have defined the compound pendulum as a rigid body suspended vertically so as to oscillate with small amplitude that means theta is very very small so for small thetas sine of theta corresponds to theta so restoring torque becomes mg theta into l so let us call this as equation number b now this is the accelerating torque acting in counterclockwise direction this is the restoring torque acting in clockwise direction now the body will come to rest when the accelerating torque has been balanced by the restoring torque so for static equilibrium of the compound pendulum or the connecting rod accelerating torque must be equals to the restoring torque so let us equate these two equations for the equilibrium of connecting rod so we get m into alpha k square plus l square accelerating torque which is equals to mg theta into l is the restoring torque so m m goes so we get alpha upon theta is equals to gl upon k square plus l square so from this equation we will draw some conclusions all the terms on the right hand side are constant g is the constant of acceleration due to gravity l is the distance of cg from the center of rotation of the connecting rod and k is the radius of variation of this connecting rod so whole of the right hand side is constant that means alpha is directly proportional to theta that is acceleration angular acceleration of connecting rod is directly proportional to angular displacement of connecting rod from the mean position now this is the property of simple harmonic motion in case of simple harmonic motions what we have in case of simple harmonic motions we have acceleration of the oscillating body is directly proportional to its displacement from the mean position so what we can conclude is that since for our case alpha is directly proportional to theta acceleration is directly proportional to displacement that means the oscillations of connecting rod are executing simple harmonic motion okay and for simple harmonic motion we know that to find out the frequency of oscillations executing simple harmonic motion we use this equation fn equals to 1 upon twice pi under root of acceleration upon displacement now our system of compound pendulum is undergoing shm we have proved here so frequency of oscillation of compound pendulum is equals to 1 upon twice pi under root of acceleration upon displacement is alpha upon theta for shm so fn is equals to 1 upon twice pi root of 
will substitute the value of alpha upon theta which is equals to gl upon k square plus l square so using this equation we can determine frequency of oscillations of a compound pendulum so fn is equals to 1 upon tau span and root of gl upon k square plus l square where in this equation l is the distance of cg from point of suspension of connecting rod from point of suspension of connecting rod or compound pendulum you will remember this l is not the length of connecting rod it is the distance of cg from point of suspension of connecting rod thank you